Hello everyone, welcome to Analytics with Asmi. Have you ever faced the challenge of dealing with multiple rows of data and need to merge or concatenate into a single cell? Maybe you are dealing with the categories and subcategories that needs to be merged for clear analysis. That is exactly what we are going to see today. In this video, we are going to explore a powerful technique which is combining rows based on a specific column. You can see in our data set, we have four columns. Order ID, Customer ID, Category and Subcategory. These categories are varied and each subcategory has its own subset of items. So here our goal is to efficiently group this row by order ID while maintaining the integrity of information with each category. Our aim of this video is we should get a subcategory like this. It should get merged like this. We can see here our order ID, customer ID and category and subcategories are merged together. By end of this video, you will get a solid understanding how to combine rows by group by function in a Power Query Editor. So, whether you are a data analyst, business professional or anyone working with a diverse data set, this video is for you. Before moving ahead, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. So, let's dive into Power Query Editor now. I have imported a data in a Power Query Editor here. Here you can see we have four columns, but the first row is not a header here. So, let's make it the header. So, for that what we have to do here in the home tab, you go and you can search for use first row as header. Click this drop down and just click use first row as a header. Now you can see our first row is a header. If you carefully observe here you can see order ID. Here we have ID 1 and 2. We have a same customer ID and the category. But we can see we have a different subcategories like bookcase, chair and pen. So for this id number one we have to merge these two cells so we want bookcase comma chair here so let's see how we can do using a power query editor by group by function so for that what we have to do you have to go to home here here you can see in the transform tab here you can see a group by function just click this a dialog box will appear here here in a basic you have to select here order ID as we are grouping by order ID here. Then we'll you have to give a name to the column. So let's give name as a merge. Okay, as we are merging it. Then we have to choose the operation here. We are going to choose here the maximum here. And we have to choose the column what we have to merge here. So here we are merging the subcategory. So, we have selected the subcategory here and just press OK. Now, here you can see we are getting ID 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and we are getting just a one item here. Okay. So, for getting a multiple items, multiple subcategories, what you have to do? You have to go to the advanced editor here. After that, here you can see here we have a M function so we have to little modify it so here you can see merge each list dot max as we have used a max function instead of this you have to use the text dot combine M function what is text dot combine here text dot combine in a power query M language is used to combine multiple text values into a single text separated by a specific delimiter so, what it will do? It will take all the items present in the subcategory by using order ID and combine it. So, let's remove this. As we don't want the max value, we want a combined text. So, we'll write here text dot combine. And here you can see the second argument here is a separator. So, here we are going to use a comma as a separator. So, we'll put his second argument in an inverted comma. And let's done it. Now, here you can see we got order ID 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we got a merge column with the items. But 
in the original table there were four columns but here you can see only the two columns so we have to add two more columns here so for that we can see here in the function here you can see the order id is present we will add two columns here okay so for that what we'll do here we'll write here comma and you have to make sure that you have to put the same column name so second column name was customer id so i am writing customer id and it should be in a inverted comma okay otherwise it will throw an error and second column was category here so inverted comma again and capital c make sure it should be same spelling okay category inverted comma complete and just check it enter it now here you can see we got a correct output we have a four columns ordered id customer id category and our merge column which in which the subcategories are present with comma as a separator you can use anything as a separator here i have used the comma separator so this is how you can combine or concatenate the subcategories into a particular cell hope you understood how to do that see you in the next video thank you for watching